Here is Roberto Pereira finding Chalabar. Etienne Capu. De La Peo has brought it down under control. Pretty well too. And played in Messina who scores. Adam Messina has got his first ever goal for Watford. And it was set up by the man who used to wear the blue jersey, Gerard De La Feo. And Watford have the early lead here at Vicarage Road. Inside 10 minutes, Everton are undone. Adam Messina. There's the crossfield ball, brought down brilliantly by De La Feo. There's the run into the penalty area from Messina, who was allowed time to volley it home into that far corner beyond Jordan Pickford. And Everton fall behind, away from home. And they have a task on their hands again on the road. Here's Iwobi. Sidibi now getting forward and planting it into the penalty area. That's a good header from Dominic Calvert Lewin, but he didn't quite carry enough pace on the ball to beat Ben Foster in the Watford goal. Calvert Lewin, a prominent goal scorer of late, he has scored seven of Everton's last 11 league goals. And this header on target, but plucked out of the air comfortably enough by Ben Foster. And Troy Deeney playing in Roberto Pereira and it's 2-0. All from an Everton mistake. Roberto Pereira doubles Watford lead. And now Everton are in trouble. Applause from the home fans as Watford go two up. Pouncing on an Everton error. Roberto Pereira. Mamie and Delft giving the ball away into the path of Troy Deeney, who fed it to the Argentinian. And he never really looked like missing this opportunity that was presented to him. Beyond the despairing outstretched arm of Jordan Pickford. And Everton have that proverbial mountain to climb. Delft. Holgate in towards Calvert Lewin. Uh, must be an Everton corner. Calvert Lewin did not get the last touch. The first corner is to be taken by Luca Dean as we head into stoppage time at the end of the first half. Luca Dean's delivery, it's a good one. And is it stay at home? It is now. Yeri Mina with the final touch to poke it over the line after Holgate's effort was blocked. And Everton have got that important strike before the break. Yeri Mina with only his second goal for the club. And how important a goal it could prove to be. Blocked on the line from Holgate, but Yeri Mina was there to just prod it into the Watford net. A simple touch to put Everton very much back in the game at such an important time to just on the stroke of half-time. Yeri Mina with his first of the season. Pickford's delivery up towards Calvert-Lewin. Away by Etienne Capu. Holgate collects. It's a good ball for Luca Dean. And his delivery wins Everton another corner. Only their second of the game, but we know what happened from the last one. Everton got themselves very much back into it. Into the fourth minute of stoppage time now at the end of 
this half, and there's Jerry Mina again, and Everton are level. It's Mina at the double. What an end to this first half. Jerry Mina completely unmarked, just nods it into the back of the net. Wow, what a response from Everton. Two corners at the end of the first half, two goals. And there's the dance from the Colombian international. He escaped his man completely and just nodded it down. He got away from Craig Cathcart and said, thank you very much. Everton from 2-0 down are going to go in at half-time level. That's the way to bounce back. Well, he's the threat, as far as Watford are concerned. Yeri Mina's on a hat-trick. In it goes. Oh, Watford got away with that. It is to be an Everton corner. The final touch certainly off a Watford player. Albert Lewin was flying in here. And his header going off Craig Cathcart and over the crossbar. Everton are certainly looking a threat at set pieces. Etienne Capu. Fouled by Delft, who needs to be careful. He's on a yellow card already, and the crowd know it. And the referee, Craig Paulson, is coming across to have a word here. How does he see this? This is going to be a red card. It's a second yellow for Fabian Delft for that on Etienne Capu. He claims he got the ball. The referee says no. It's a challenge from behind. It's a second yellow. And Delft is having to leave the field here. Gary Mina in a real tussle here. He has been penalised. He's going to get a yellow card as well. He didn't do too much wrong there in my eyes, Gary Mina. He's got a yellow card for that on Isaac's success. He's also booked, which does seem harsh. Pesetto to take this free kick. Just over five minutes of the 90 remaining. Pesetto's delivery punched away by Pickford. Etienne Capu for Decore, who goes for goal again. That one screws wide of Pickford's left hand post. A couple of efforts from him in the last few minutes. Pickford's punch and then teed up for Decore. Again, always heading wide the outside of his boot that time. So Everton prepared to defend this long throw from Mariapa. Off the head of Holgate. Now Moise Keane has got a touch into the path of Richarlison and Everton are on the counter-attack here. Richarlison into the penalty and Moise Keane, he misses his kick. Can Walcott steer it home? He certainly can! And Everton have surely won it! Right at the death. They struck at the end of the first half and they've done it again late in the second. Theo Walcott with his first of the season. A lightning counter-attack from Everton. And Walcott on the end of it. And Everton are about to come from behind and win a game for the first time in 36 Premier League games. Having conceded the first goal, they are about surely to end that horrible statistic. Theo Walcott never gave this up. Moise Keane missed kicking it. It didn't matter because Theo Walcott was on hand to do the rest.